So this ruler, and Machiavelli thinks this ruler is a very wise fellow, he sends his second in command, his lieutenant to that city, and he says, I give you complete power of life and death over all the citizens of that city, because now they're mine. And I want you to go down there and lay down the law. I want you to ruthlessly exterminate all of my enemies. I want you to, sell, to make the decrees I think appropriate, and whatever decrees you think are appropriate, make them all and lean on these people. Go in and coerce them, intimidate them, frighten them. When you are trying to establish your rule as a new ruler in this legitimate government, the best thing to do is to establish fear, because you can count on fear. What we need is a man of virtu, and V-I-R-T-U. The virtue of the leopard. The guiltless killing of the hawk. The hawk doesn't feel bad about killing sparrows. That's the way hawks are. The way of nature is the way of cruelty. We must learn to live with that. It is the virtue of the man that tells lies, that stabs people in the back, that does whatever it takes to satisfy his unquenchable desire for power. And I give you complete power. If any of them complain about you, tell them I have given, delegated my authority to you, and if they give you any more problems beyond that, kill them. But we have a problem here, the potential for hatred. Certainly, if you've killed someone's father, mother, son, daughter, husband, wife, it's going to be payback time. Machiavelli has no conception of forgiveness, no idea that charity ought to be extended to us sinners. He thinks that's for children and old ladies. No. Machiavelli says, the right way to handle this is the way the prince in this case handled it. He went to that second city, and he asked the people in that city, well, what do you think of my new ruler here? Isn't he a nice fellow? A real charmer, isn't he? The people were horrified by the terrible cruelties, the tortures, and the murders, and the public executions that he had imposed on them. The only thing the prince must avoid, according to Machiavelli, the prince cannot afford to be hated. When the people hate you, they will come and get you. One way or another, they will depose you. So secretly, that night, the prince is sitting back there thinking about this, and he orders his secret police or his private guardsmen, the ones he can really trust, whoever they are, tells him, I want you secretly to go to the room of my second in command, the man I gave this bloody authority to. And I want you to take him out to the center of the square of this town. And I want you to cut him in half and leave him there. Next morning, the people of the town get up, and what do they see but a man who is the object of intense hatred to them? Pieces of him all over the center of the square. And then our prince sets out a decree that he had heard through some source, which he isn't going to name, that this man had been very severe and very violent, and we can't have any of that in a well-run state. He had heard that this man had usurped power that the prince had never given him, and because the second in command had been so bloody-minded and such an evil, cruel fellow, the prince's justice, the prince's mercy, and the prince's, prince's honesty required that he be cut in half. First you conquer a people that you have no right to, and then you send somebody out there to do extremely evil and unpleasant and violent things to them, and you lie to him and say that you do it with my blessing, and then you go to the people and you act like you're blameless so they won't hate you. And then you kill this guy, throw him to the wolves, and the people lap it up and say, what a nice fellow you are. Glad we got a prince like you. Much better than the guy we had here. We thought he was acting with your authority, but of course now we see that he wasn't. That's what the word Machiavellian means. Two, three, four levels of meaning. All devoted to the same task. To the organization and acquisition of political power, by any means necessary. By any means necessary. Donald Trump recently wrote a book called The Art of the Deal. You could say that Machiavelli's book is the art of the double cross.